Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And, guys, we are back at Tiber River, and I think in this episode we are going to be trying to see what we can do about getting maybe some eels and maybe uh, some of the Wells catfish, maybe a trophy if possible. Uh, in order to do that, however, I did have to upgrade some of my gear because the gear I had just wasn't going to be strong enough to make it happen especially if these trophy wells catfish I had to upgrade a, the even the smallest ones up to a big alley which is up to 18.5 pounds uh, after that I think they went up to maximum of maybe 15 pounds but and then they went down as low as 6.5 that is not going to pull in a trophy wells catfish without there's no way possible so basically, we have got this upgraded to a big Ali alley, or Ali, I think it's big alley. And we're going to be trying to start off with some medium cut bait, which eels go for, as do the Wells catfish. Now the hooks are a little small for the Wells, but I will probably still get plenty of bites off them. If we finally get our eel, we'll go ahead and upgrade that to maybe a 2 or to, to a 4 rot. So we're catfish sized at least. We've got a bottom sniper here. I've got it with a number two, and all of them actually have number twos. I'm also using all fluorocarbon leaders, and that's only because there are no pike in this particular location, so we don't have to worry about them biting through the line. However, we do need to have line that is see-through because there's a lot of trout species and any kind of line they can see scares them off so you won't get bites very easily now we've got this bottom sniper set up with shrimp we've got this one set up with shiners and that is a cat boxer that goes up to I believe 47.4 so it's that's pretty heavy duty and then of course this heavy chaser which is very heavy duty 56.2 easily pull out a trophy with no problem of the wells catfish got shrimp on that we may change some of the baits around here and there just depends on how things go uh, we kept the feather light for now I'm just keep I probably won't be using it in this episode and we got a bass caster this is one I just recently purchased I wanted one that was somewhere mid-range that is a bait casting rod so that I can cast smaller lures but not quite a feather light or uh, elemental, not quite super light tackle, kind of in the middle of the road, so to speak. And of course, I got the Phoenix Flow Rod. We might try that later on as well. I'm not sure. But we're going to jump in here and see what we can do. We're probably going to we're gonna have to advance time if we're going to have to go after eels. Now, I will tell you this I did record prior to this, I lost the footage, unfortunately. And when I did fish for it, I did catch one of the ones I was after, a unique European brown trout. So I've already caught one of those, but I'd like to catch another one, guys, so that you can see just what they look like. Um, you might find them here, and you will probably find them at night, because that's when I caught this one. But we're going to go ahead and, like I said, jump in. And I'm going to have to go ahead and advance time. The reason I just jumped in in the morning is because I had to completely go out to get all the gear changed in the main menu. And that meant I start back in the beginning. The peaks here, we might get some trout species. But like I said, I want to go after these specific species and see how we do with getting maybe another European brown trout. But definitely the European eel and definitely a Wells trophy cat trophy that 
and definitely a trophy wells catfish have not caught that yet so we've gotten all the rest of them but not that yet okay let's go ahead and forward to time this is a good day for this because the peak in the beginning of the night is very high it's the highest peak of the entire 24 hour period so and then I think we go into another day which has a really good peak in the beginning of it so not quite as high as here but still pretty good so we need to get this set up quickly because we don't have a lot of time to make this happen during the peak so but basically anywhere out in here should be good I think I've got a marker out there I'm not sure what I'm marking but we're gonna throw that right out there we'll probably be getting more wells catfish than anything else with these particular baits that is my guess I'm gonna throw that one out a little further this direction Ah, shoot. Did not mean to put it in the first rod holder. Let's put it in the second rod holder. Now this one I'm going to bring a little bit closer in. And we're already getting a bite. Which is not surprising with this kind of a peak. But... Now the size of whatever this is is kind of misleading. This is much heavier than what we were using before. So it can handle some pretty pretty heavy duty fish. We're not talking like Amazonian fish, but yeah, we got us I think trophy European brown trout. Now see how easily I brought that sucker in? No problem whatsoever. I would have fought that tooth and nail with some of the other rods. Let's see, I had that way over here, didn't I? Yep. And that was rod number two? Yep. And rod number four, and I'm going to bring that one in kind of close. I think I'm going to throw it around here. can't tell which one it is. I think it is the third one it is. Now this one I've got a shiner. Now asp go for shiners too, but I don't know if I've ever caught an asp over here. Usually catch them around the bridge area, so I think we got a Wells catfish here. Yes, a young Wells. Which because of that number two hook we might be getting small ones but we'll see now the yields are supposed to be here but I'm not looking like I'm catching them it's probably another small wells or another European brown yep Yeah, I've always had a hard time catching the eels here on this particular map. I'm still looking for chubs, but haven't run into them either. Oops. Okay, let's see. Number two. Okay, this this is a trout. Look what he's doing. He's swimming right towards me. That's He's trying to lower the tension so he can get off the line. They do that. Not a typical Wells catfish ploy. Yep, European brown trout. They're sneaky. Sneaky little devils. Okay, 
get number three again. Okay, now this this may this is a Wells catfish for sure. And a fairly decent sized one. I would say it's at least a common. And we got something decent size on the other one there too. Yeah, this is this could be a trophy. Yeah, it is. There we go. There's one of our gulls right there. Take a look at that sell sucker there. 1050 cash. Not a bad fish. That's the trophy wells. Big as they come here, guys. Now, if I can just get that before it gets off of there now now the eels are not going to be as big but since we got the trophy wells we can kind of focus more on the eels if we can there's a marble trout Now let's take a look and see if there's something here. And yeah, we're still well into the peak. But since we're trying to get the eels, guys. And I haven't caught so much as even a common one. I mean, but they go for small cut bait, medium cut bait, small minnow, shrimp, night crawlers, shiners, crawfish cut, and cheese. Hmm. Well, let me take a look at the Wells catfish. They pretty much go for anything. Crawfish, crawfish. Cheese is not on there. No, it's not. Shiners is on there. I don't see small minnows either. So, see, that's where we alter our our bait usage now I'm not saying they won't go for cheese or crawfish cut since they do go for crawfish but it might increase our odds if we use stuff that it does not include in there let's see we're gonna put cheese on this one we're gonna put small minnows on this one Now, I'm sure they'll go for blood bait, but anything else? Might switch it over to night crawlers and one of the others. Well, we'll see. Okay, we got number two. Crawfish cut again. And if I get another young Wells catfish, I am definitely switching that bait because I've been getting a lot of the young Wells catfish. This might be an eel, guys. It's, yeah, it's, I think it's an eel. I think it's an eel. Yes, it is. So we got that. 10,000 fine. Ooh, that's hefty. So we found it. We're going to release it and we're going to mark it. Novice measure of the Tiber River. Catch all fish species of a common form in the Tiber River. One bait coin. Okay, that's cool. Now we're going to go ahead and mark that because that is the first European eel that we've caught. And he was caught way out there, so that's probably my issue. I need to go further out. And he did go for the crawfish cut, so that's good. All 
Okay, we've got small metals on this one. And this could be trout, this could be, I think it is an eel. No, no, it's not an eel. It's a European brown. I think I might change that to small cut bait. Oh, providing I can find it. Here it is. Yeah, we're going to toss this way out there this time. Far out as that one will go. This is cheese. I got it in close. Let's try it out farther. I'm not sure what the other marker is, but some of those markers I might be able to get rid of. Okay, I can't get it out quite as far, but I'll get it as far as I can. Yeah, we're already coming out of the peak. We're not. This doesn't last long, unfortunately. Okay, now we're getting some bites. Let's see what this one is. I'm kind of thinking it might be a. Another catfish. The only problem with throwing it, well, I don't know, it could be a brown trout. They do go for that same bait. Yep, European brown. Come on, get it picked up before it times out. Now, that won't be a brown trout, so that's. However, it could be a Wells catfish, which I think is what it is. Yep. Ah, young Wells. Getting a lot of those little buggers. Cut bait again. Okay, this is an eel. This is definitely an eel. See how much wake it leaves? That's the one way you know for sure you've gotten an eel. They leave a big wake. Now, it's just a regular size one, so... But that was way over there. It was a lot further. In fact, like I said, I'm going to mark these so that I can have them for future, but yeah, it is much further that direction. Way over here. So actually, they seem to be further away from that wall than I anticipated. Okay. Finally got something. Had another lull there. Alright, yeah, I think we got us uh, another Wells. This could be another trophy, guys. I'm thinking it might be. It's at least a common. Yep. It's common. Yeah, we're coming out of our peak, though, guys. That's the only thing. The only thing, it's kind of bad, because... Like I said, that peak is not very long.
All right, guys. Well, I think we're coming out of the peak. <laughs> I've got a dragonfly wanting to land on my rod there. You can see him. See him any be even better if we do that. There he is. There's our little friend. <laughs> And he takes off. Yeah, I am not getting any more bites. It isn't. Nothing has happened for a while. I've tried the flow fishing. It's pretty. pretty slow. I'm going to go ahead and reel this in. I'm going to take a look at the where we stand as far as the peak period goes. Oh yeah, see? That's why we're getting no responses. And it goes up a little at 3 a.m., but not significantly. Now let's see. We are going to have a peak in the early morning. And it's not a bad one. There's two peaks on the following night. So it might behoove us to get move the well it's gonna have we're gonna have to move the time, that's with, without a doubt. But I think we're gonna have to pick up our rods and advance time. I wish you could advance time with your rods on the rod holders, but it won't let you. <laughs> so let's Let's try advancing time. You can catch eels at times other than uh, late at night, but we're going to see if we have any luck in that early morning peak. All right, guys, I have advanced time to the early morning, and we are right in the middle of a peak. So we should be able to do all right. I might try, hold on, let me put this away, moving this over a little bit. down here a little bit. Yeah, closer to those markers that I've got over here. Yeah, I think we might have a little bit better shot right here, but let's see. So we know we've caught him there. Caught them with the crawfish cut. Yeah, I'm going to put it down. This one down even further. Don't know about the cheese. I haven't had any responses off off of that at all. So. Yeah, this one I'll throw out a little further just to see. There we go. Okay, now we finally got something. Oh, now that's typical. All at once, and we got this off of cheese, guys, so. The only other fish I know of that goes for this is, well, I think carp do. This is an eel, without a doubt. This is an eel. Yes. Another European eel off of cheese. And this is cut bait. It could be another eel, but I think it's common as well. Huh. Well, these guys are really elusive, but they are biting in the morning, which is interesting. I am going to mark where that one was. So we're getting them in the morning. That is interesting. 
At least we got two marks now, and that was much further out, too. Okay, that, I think that was in the second run. Yep. We're going to mark this one. Yeah, I was not expecting to get bites from them in the middle of the morning. Hmm. Problem I had with the last time I went after Asp, but I couldn't get a good cast off of it. Yeah, I'm afraid this could be a... Yep, I was afraid it was going to be a Wells catfish. Because, well, you know, I've already gotten one. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can't try to throw that right on that marker. And we're going to give this patriotic walker thing a try if we can... Wow, I just threw that out there. <laughs> No, okay, I was thinking it was... I, I've got the wrong one in mind here. This, the cheese one. I just got the barbell off of this one. Yeah, I'll know in a minute. That is a Wells. God bless it. Yeah, I knew they went for cheese if they were young. Okay, now we're getting some bites. That's what we were... Hoping to get, just don't want to get them all at the same time if we can help it. Okay, what do we got here? I don't think it's an eel. It's another Wells. Oh, yeesh. Get plenty of those guys. There we go. Well, we got some kind of a trout, that's for certain. Off a light tackle. It could be not even a big one. Since this only goes up to nine pounds. Definitely a hefty fish here. Holy crap. Yeah, I thought I'd do a little spin casting to mix things up here and because apparently we're going out of the peak and getting into a lull here we definitely have us a trout This fish, wow, this is a fight. <laughs> this ought to be worth some, some extra XP if I can get this guy in. <laughs> if I can get this guy in. Okay, I'm going to try coming over. Well, he's... Okay, let's see if he's going to go this way. Look. Maybe we should go this way. Okay, come on. Oh, you are a tough old bird here. Come on. Okay, I had his head up, but not very long. This is a... Oh, come on. Okay, come on. There we go. Probably a marble, just for the way he is fighting. I swear, it's got to be a marble. Yep. See how hard it is just to bring in a regular marble trout with light tackle? Not bad, though. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, I think we've lost our peak here, guys. I'm afraid the peak is over. Let's take a look here. Yep. See, it's starting to fade out. We haven't gotten any bites off of here for quite a while. Well, we did get some eels. We didn't even get a trophy, though. 
But we did get our trophy, Wells Catfish, so we completed that. Go. I don't know why I keep getting that little th statement there. But I do want to do one more thing before we leave completely. I'm going to go ahead and bring these in, and we're going to go take care of that. So this is basically doing some business here. All right, guys, I am back, and we're going to go ahead, like I said earlier, to the map. We're going to go all the way back over to the Breathy Bridge. And we have to head away from the castle, remember that, to the Asp fishing spot. We should have enough of a peak left to get at least an Asp. So we can complete that Tiber exploration too. Uh, what the heck is going on? I am... Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I am floating. What in God's green earth? We have us a bug. This is interesting. How far can I go with this? Oh my God, I am like way up in the air. How in the heck? That is so weird. This happened to me one other time. I think the only way to fix it is you have to run all back over here. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm, apparently I'm crossing at a certain point and it throws something off. And see, now I'm, I'm back to normal. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was kind of fun. Try it sometime. Maybe it'll work for you too. But I am going to go ahead and try to use this patriotic walker if I can and see if we can get us a aspen here we just need one they usually are right around there so that if we don't get it with this we could try the crankbait too zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing there we go oh, oh, oh dang gone that was a big one <laughs> that was a real big one oh wow that was a monster holy crap that was not what I was trying to do let's see hold on <laughs> That was not what I was trying to do. Okay, what is my test on here? 15 pound. Well, can we go heavy? We can go heavier. We can go 20 pound if we need to. Yeah, let's throw a 20 pound on there. That was interesting. Let's put a 18 pound fluorocarbon. I cannot believe that. I lost my walker. That that kind of sucks. They really do like those walkers. I will say that. They went for that with no problem. I do have an extra one. Yeah, I've got quite a few of these. I picked up quite a few of them when I was doing the con the um, event. My God, I had taken that way down, and he still broke it. There we go, we got him. And this is probably what we're after too, guys, so Okay, we can we can take it up a little bit. Bring this fellow in and we'll complete our mission here. Well these guys are fighters, I'll tell you that. I must have gotten a unique to have snapped that line that easily. Couldn't have been anything but that. Boy, you are feisty. Oh my god, really? Wow, there's another unique for the day. 
1427. Boy, they really go for those patriotic walkers. But you definitely got to make sure that you've got your your, <laughs> your tension way down because obviously they can snap it really easy. Well, we've already gotten a, a unique ass, but there's our second one so far in <laughs> just a short period of time. And I think that's what we had earlier when, when it snapped the line. I'm almost certain of it. But that completed our little mission there, guys. And got us some good XP and some good cash. It's not bad. Oh, we got us a reward of 0.014 mono line. And we completed the Tiber Exploration 2. 1500 cash, 1 bait coin. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Hopefully we can maybe find a better place for these eels. I don't know. Maybe that's the only place you can get them. Guys, if you know of a good spot to catch them and the barbel, let me know in the comments below. And I will try it out. And we'll see if we can't get them there. Those are the two. I mean, that place, the feeder, float feeder heaven, are the only places that I know of. I thought you used to be able to get them here, but... Maybe that was on the boat. I don't remember. I don't know. Anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.